This is the first in a series of videos where we see how the Brightpell back office connects to the Magento e-commerce store. So let's see how to connect the two up. First of all, we have to install multi-channel on the Brightpell system. So from your billing screen, which is under your name, My Account, make sure you're on the Retail Wholesale plan, and then select e-commerce. During your trial, of course, you don't have to pay. And we just save changes. So that's now turned on e-commerce. Let's install Magento. From the multi-channel menu, click Add e-commerce. And then you can see we've got a couple of different installations here. Click Install on the Magento box. Great, we've now got Magento installed. Let's go across to Magento and add some API information. So the integration works with all flavors of Magento. So that's Go, Community, Professional, and Enterprise. And we're going to do the demo here on a Magento Go account. What we need to do is set up API information, and this lets Brightpell connect to your Magento account. System, Web Services, and we start by adding a role. So we give the role a name. I just call it Brightpell API. And then on the left-hand side, we choose the resources that it can access. So I select Catalog, Sales, Customers, Catalog Inventory, and Directory. So that's all of them and then save the role. The next thing we have to do is create a user. So System, Web Services, Users. Click to add a new one. And then a username, Bright Pearl. First name, it doesn't really matter what you put in here. The API key, however, is your password. So the username and the API key are what we're going to put into Bright Pearl. On the left hand side, we choose the user role, and we choose that role we've just created, and then save user. And that's all we need to do at the Magento end. Now let's set up the Bright Pearl end. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new sales status, and this is the status at which the orders will be created when they're coming in from Magento. So from Sales, Sales Statuses, click to add a new status. We're just going to call this new Magento order. And then make that a nice color and save. And then from the channels menu on the left hand side go to set up Magento. Click to add a store, give it a name and the store URL. Choose the Magento product you're using and now we put in the user and API key that we created in Magento. So that's just Bright Pearl and in my case password. Here we choose the new order status we just created. Choose a bank account into which all the credit card payments would be placed. So this is for the accounting side of things. The next thing we need to do is choose the root category ID in Magento. So let's go back to our Magento account and then choose Catalog, Manage Categories. And we can see on the left hand side that we've got default category which is at the top level. I click that and you can see here we've got ID number 2. So 2 is the number we need. So go back to Bright Pearl, pop 2 in and then activate the integration. And that's all there is to it. Now Brightpell has actually created a channel for you. So if we go multi-channel menu, we now see we've got an e-commerce channel for Magento. Let's edit the channel settings to make sure we've got the right price list and the right warehouse. And you can see here, we can choose from one of our multiple warehouses, or again, we can choose from any price list that we want to synchronize with Magento. Next, we'll look at connecting everything up. And the best place to start with that is the Magento dashboard. 